potassium and osteoporosis, or we should say potassium and bone health. How in the world can potassium help prevent osteoporosis and build, or help build, I should say, healthy bones? Well, an interesting twist of potassium. What researchers hypothesized initially prior to doing the study is that potassium, or potassium salts, I should say, work as really good buffers in neutralizing excess acid in the body. So, by doing that, maybe by neutralizing those excess acids through taking these potassium salts, such as chloride, bicarbonate, or basically potassium citrate, that maybe the body doesn't have to take the calcium from the bones to neutralize the acids. And that's where the study began. In an article published January 14, 2015, in Osteoporosis International, titled, Potassium Salt Aid Bone Health Limit Osteoporosis Risk. The citation title, for those SciTech people out there, The Effect of Supplementation with Alkaline Potassium Salt on Bone Metabolism, a Meta-Analysis. Now, a meta-analysis is where you take a bunch of different studies, look at all of them, then make a conclusion. So what the researchers did here is look at 14 separate studies on potassium in building bone health. Now, this is what they said as far as why they looked at these studies. Here we go. They said that a high intake of potassium salts, primarily from food, remember they're not looking at anything that's really wild above the RDA, basically significantly reduce the excretion of calcium and acid in the urine. So if there's less acid in the urine per se, then it must be buffered before it leaves the body. So they moved a little forward, farther forward, I should say. This means that excess acid is neutralized and bone mineral is preserved. By preserving the bone minerals, they were looking at something called bone resorption. So if they could decrease what's called bone resorption, that means the body is not breaking down bone faster than it's being built, giving the body to maintain an opportunity to maintain a good, solid, strong skeleton, so to say. Now, they did bring up a good point. When looking at different potassium salts, they found out that potassium bicarbonates and potassium citrate were superior to potassium chloride. The reason I bring that up is because a lot of people that take potassium supplements, a lot of them are potassium chloride, so you may want to move that over and move more towards potassium citrate. The researchers concluded this. The meta-analysis confirms that supplementation with alkaline potassium salts, chloride, carbonate, and citrate, per se, led to significant reduction in renal calcium excretion and acid excretion. Why? Does it help neutralize the acid? Compatible with the concept of increased buffering of hydrogen ions by rays circulating bicarbonate, the observation or observed reduction in bone resorption, remember the lower the bone resorption, normally the better, indicates a potential benefit to bone health. So when looking for a new ally, maintaining good, healthy, strong bones throughout your life, now you have a really good one, an easy one, and a very healthy one. Look at potassium, citrates, preferable. Thank you very much, Ralph Church Channel, signing off once again.